But what's with these other things? And what are they? Now this is a Lampasa style ride. I think for the rest of the show, we're gonna take this as the crew mobile. This is the Hannah Springs Sculpture Garden, where art meets nature and things aren't limited to reality. All right, so I went noodling down at the river real quick and I pulled this guy out. I caught bigger. This is awesome. Man, if you think art is only for these really stuffy galleries, this just proves that completely wrong. <laughs> but what's with it and why here? Well, we should interview someone about that from the Lampasas Association for the Arts. All right, y'all, next up on the day show with Chet Garner, please welcome to our stone sofa, Miss Tina Matney with Lafta. Oh wait, guys, no, that's the that's the clap track. We need to hear the Lafta. <laughs> please have a seat on our wonderfully comfortable couches. It's time for the really hard questions. Get it? Hard. You're, you're on. Never mind. We'll skip to the easy ones. Now this is amazing. I mean, so how did this come about? Back in 2005, we had a local artist by the name of Nancy Gray who had a vision to do public art. Uh -huh. In conjunction with the city, we formed the Sculpture Garden. Was it going to be fairly normal at first and then someone brought a catfish on a truck and you're like, that works. It snowballed. Started with three pieces of limestone that were carved right here on site. We have now 22 pieces, I believe, in our permanent collection. There's serious pieces, there's fun pieces, interactive pieces, kids can climb on some of them. We just want everybody to have a little something. That's awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for sitting on the stone sofa. That interview was uncomfortable, not because of my guest. Just this is a little, little bit uncomfortable. This one's much more for, comfortable. Good for popping backs, though. That's not bad. <laughs> Despite the very weird and wonderful art, there's a piece of God's natural handiwork here that I like best. All right, so the art is pretty, but this is the coolest part of the park, the actual Hannah Springs. These are sulfur springs that flow right out of the ground. Look how crystal clear they are. I mean, this pool is maybe seven to 10 feet deep, and you can see straight to the bottom of it. That's awesome. Going back centuries, humans have flocked to this area just for the water, because water is life. But these waters seem to give special life force. People used to come down here to these springs. If there was a giant bathhouse, they would stay here and they would drink the water because they believed that these waters had special healing properties to them. You know, I guess uh, they didn't die back then. I, I suppose it's still the same water. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow. Oh. Have you ever drank? A rotten boiled egg, Daniel? I have not. Well, here, you want to try it? <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you better give me superpowers. Ah, I feel stronger already. Well, they don't call them sulfur springs for nothing. It is uh, quite pungent, but I'm feeling very sulfurically strengthened. I'm not sure why folks stop doing this. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.